Hey guys, Fred here from AF Math and Engineering. Welcome back. Uh, this is a video on the secant method. So the secant method, really straightforward numerical analysis concept. Uh, really easy to get a high mark in this course. As long as you you know you you make tables and you practice the problems, um, it's it's usually a hundred percent. And it's the same with this question. So um, in this question, so what is the secant method? First of all, um, the secant method is an, essentially it's an algorithm that's used to estimate uh, the square root. Of a, of a given function. So here you can see that we're estimating root 2, and it assumes that a, a section of the function is approximately linear uh, in the region of interest, and then it uses successive secant lines and the roots of those lines to approximate a root. So that's essentially um, kind of a brief explanation of what the secant method is. But usually in this course, you're not asked to explain the method or derive anything. You're just asked to solve the problem, and this will be good enough. So um, we're asked to use the secant method to estimate root 2 for f of x equals x squared minus 2 using x naught equals 3 and x1 equals 2 and do five iterations. So usually during the test, they'll give you the first like initial guess that they made and then the second guess. Um, so it's kind of like already kind of converging and you don't need to do, like if you guess wrong, for example, you may end up having to do 10 or 20 iterations or something like that. So essentially we've been given their kind of first guess and then their second guess and then they want us to start from here. And uh, they're asking us to do five iterations. Here's the formula here for x uh, i plus one, and this is actually kind of the uh, the answer that we get. So this here is the approximation, and then we're going to do five of these. Okay. So first is going to be iteration number one. Okay. And what is our x i and what's our x i minus one? So just draw out this table. We have x i x i minus one, f x i f x i minus one, and then finally the approximation, which is x i plus one over here. So this is kind of the answer on this side. So our first guess, so this is kind of like what was our guess before and what's our guess currently, okay? So the that's essentially what it is. So um, the, the current guess is xi, okay? So that's two. And then the, the iteration before that was three, okay? Perfect. So uh, now all we need to do is simply plug in, um, if you can just see this, we have f of xi. So we're just gonna take xi, which is here, Okay, and we're going to plug it into our function. Okay, so for the first one, I'll just do the first one and then I'm just gonna kind of fill stuff out. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna plug in two. So we have two squared minus two, and that's gonna give us simply two. Okay, so two goes in here for the first row. Uh, and then f x i minus one, same thing. Take x my i minus one, three, plug it in here. You're gonna get nine minus two, that's uh, seven. Okay. And then uh, x i plus one, essentially what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and you're just going to plug these values into this formula and you're gonna arrive at an answer. So uh, the first one is going to be x i, so that's two, okay, minus f x i, f x i is two. And then in the bracket we have x i minus x i minus one, so we have two minus three over f x i minus f x i minus one. And that's just gonna be two minus seven. Okay, and then we have negative one over five, so that's one over five times two, that's gonna be negative two over five. Two over five plus two is going to give us, and you just put that in your calculator, you're gonna get 1.6. So that is the first guess using this function here to estimate the value of root two. Okay, but uh, we can get closer than that. The, actual, the real answer is actually, if we go ahead and calculate it, so if we have root two, okay, we have 1.41, four, two, one, three, five, six, two. In this course, you always wanna take the maximum number of decimal places. Cool, so now let's go ahead and let's uh, start the second iteration. What's our x i and what's our x i minus one now? Okay, so um, our x i now is kind of the iteration that we just did, so that's uh, the x i plus one. So this one, okay, is gonna come over here. Okay, so this is a 1.6. Okay, and now the xi from the previous iteration, is, which was xi, is now xi minus 1. So this is going to come over here now. Okay. And now we just repeat the steps. So really straightforward, plug in uh, 1.6 into uh, f here. So we're going to 1.6 squared minus 2. Okay, that's going to give us 0 0.56. So now since we're looking for f x i minus 1 in this column, uh, we just go back to the previous iteration of f x i, and we just use that plug all these four back into this. If you have a program graphable calculator, I suggest uh, programming this formula in 
and just uh, getting it to do it for you so you don't make any mistakes. So our guess at root two for the second iteration is 1.444. So you can see it's getting closer. It's converging uh, on root two here, uh, but we still need a few more. It did tell us to do five iterations. So I'm just gonna speed through here uh, at like two times speed. I'm not gonna say much more and I'm just gonna fill out the numbers and then you guys come back at the end and see if you got the right thing. Okay, so uh, we're done now, and uh, we did five iterations. Now, in this course as well, I know uh, when I took it, our teacher always emphasized, our teacher was really good in this course, she always emphasized that it was very important that we state our answer, because you can do all of this, but if you don't know what you did, you know, you don't know what the answer is, so you're not going to get any marks. She always kind of stressed that. So it's important to note that this here is the final answer. Uh, after five iterations, and that is our guess, okay? And it's good to kind of state something as well, okay? So we're gonna say after five iterations, okay, um, root two is approximately 1.4142135755. One, so that's the final answer here. All right, and as you can see, it's uh, it's fairly close actually to um, to the actual the exact value of root two. We have one point four one four one four two one three five, and then it starts to get different on these last two digits. But um, let's see, the first seven decimals are the same. So uh, after five iterations, that's pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and good luck in your numerical analysis course. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, hit the like and the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.